How's it going guys? Moonman Zero back again once again for some Let's Go Pikachu action. And uh, a lot's happened between this episode and the last one you saw. Now, I haven't made any progress clearly in the story. I look exactly the same, and if you look at our team close, or just, just off hand, it looks pretty much the same. There's a little bit of a difference. But obviously we have Furiosa, which is our Primeape's new name. We've named all of our Pokemon that I've put on the team, not because anybody said it specifically, but because... I thought, they're with us, this is pretty much going to be our primary team for the rest of the game. We might replace Furiosa, I'll get into that here in a second, but... So we've got Zero, Talon, Spyro, Wiggles, and Tank. Now, you may be wondering, just a couple episodes, we got a really OP Rhyhorn. His name was King. There's a reason I took him off the team, and it's not because of anybody else, but I felt bad because when I caught him, I didn't understand exactly how powerful candies were. And don't get me wrong, the things we were fighting with them were weak against him for the most part, so they kind of got destroyed no matter what. But looking at his stats, the only Pokemon that even respectably deserves that many candies is Pikachu, and we've been given candies and I've given them to him, so I'm just going to let that one slide. But King it was just, he's just too strong, so we replaced him with Wiggles, or Sandslash. Now, there's something special about Wiggles. We'll get into that here in a second anyway, because Sand Slash is kind of a mad Pokemon, but it's whatever. So I've limited to myself, I've limited myself to 10 candies per Pokemon of a species candy. And what I mean by a species candy, if you don't know, is, um, let's go to our candy jar real quick. So you have 518 Pidgey candies, I have a bunch of Sandshrew candies, and Charmander candies, see, I can give them to each of them. I limit that to 10. If I give them any more than that, then it, I mean, it's not necessarily OP at that point, but too many more than that, and it starts to get a bit ridiculous. They start gaining way too many stats. They start getting just really overpowered. Now, let's go into some more details on our team. I'm not really worried about getting too strong, too weak, or whatever. The game's not that hard so far. Maybe it gets way harder later on. I doubt it. But let's get into our team. We've got Zero, which is our Pikachu, of course. He's had the name the whole time. He's a beast. And, uh, oh, that was, that, was a, that was a spoiler. But he's got Thunderbolt, Floaty Fall, Thunder, and Zippy Zap. He's got a little bit... Uh, the yellow around the ring isn't all candy. It is candy from the candy I've given him, but at, that's also the yellow ring slightly goes up as he levels up. It's just random what it gives him, and that's just what he gets. Now, as you saw, or may have seen, we have a shiny Pidgeot, or Pidgeotto. So this replaces our other Pidgeotto we had for the longest time, but this is our shiny Pidgeotto Talon uh, between episodes. I just decided to shiny hunt. I didn't want to get too much further because... I was ahead on recording this, and I'm still a little ahead, but either way, I'm much closer now, and I, I can, you guys can leave comments, and I'll read some of them before things happen. But, he's pretty good, because I shiny hunted for him, so he has four normal IVs. I wasn't really worried about the IVs, I was just kind of going for a shiny Pidgeotto, because why not? And he's, he's okay, he's got a negative nature and attack, which kind of sucks, but that's whatever. Like I said, I'm not really worried about how strong they are, it's cool if they're strong, but, so we've got Talon, our shiny Pidgeotto. Then, we go to our next one, and we have a shiny Charmeleon. His name's Spyro, and oh, but I didn't mean to do that. Whoopsie. <laughs> and like I said, I limited myself to 10 candies, so he has 10 candies on him because I got him while catching him. And whatever else he has on there is from leveling up. He's got the same moveset as our other Charmeleon, but he's shiny. And then as you saw, our Sand Slash Mr. Wiggles is also shiny. He doesn't have quite 10 candies on him, but in general, he's still, he's, he's got a couple candies on him. And uh, he's rocking a, a pretty abysmal moveset, to be honest. It's okay. It, it's definitely not near as good as Rhyhorn's, but it's another ground type on our team, which helps us anyway. And then our other team members are pretty much the same. We have Tank. He's still our cool War Turtle. I thought about shiny hunting for that, but uh, Spyro is a big pain in the butt to shiny hunt for. So we're just gonna just just a, a, an advice: if you ever shiny hunt for a rare Pokemon like Squirtle or Charmander or Bulbasaur, you may get lucky and get one. But uh, generally, unless it's a large, large, very large spawning area, they only spawn one. No matter how many combos you get, if you know how to shiny hunt, like. Only one of that rare Pokemon will spawn at a time, so you have to keep battling and retreating so they keep spawning, and it's just, it's a pain in the butt. And then we have Furiosa. 
Now, the reason I said Furiosa may be replaceable, and I did say earlier I'm not worried about how strong a Pokemon is and stuff, it's not just because of how strong she is, because I'll show you that here in a second, but in general with Pokemon on the team, she is, uh, I don't know, the most replaceable for me. The other most replaceable one's probably Wiggles, but since he's shiny, he's a lot, he's a lot less replaceable to me. But uh, it's whatever. But let's look at Furiosa's judge stat. I never looked at our Mankey's judge stat, and I know this was the first Mankey we ever caught, but I never thought you could get a mod with that abysmal stats. <laughs> Has not so good attack, which is really the best stat a Primeape could probably have. And it's its worst stat. And all of its stats are actually pretty much trash. Like, alright, let's look at let's look at Furiosa's and let's go back to War Turtle. Alright, you ready? You ready? There's a slight difference. Alright, well maybe no, okay. Uh, alright. Well uh, alright. Furiosa kind of sucks, but she's staying with the team for now because I got nobody to replace her. I mean, I have other Pokemon, but in general, it's fighting type. Furiosa is kind of cool, so we're just gonna rock out with what we got. Um, I could have shiny hunted, I guess, for a Mankey, but it's whatever. We got Furiosa the way it is. Saving the game real quick because I forgot I haven't done it in a while. I'm still on a chain for Charmanders, but we're gonna break that probably this episode. Either way, let's continue on. I wasted enough time in the beginning of the episode. Wasted almost a third of the episode just recapping all the stuff that's happened. It's only been like one day probably for you guys since you've seen this if you're watching. So, did we talk to this guy? What do you think you're doing running around here? We're Team Rocket, don't you know? I mean, uh, I mean... Okay. Now, I know there is a... Well, at least there should be an apartment building or something over here with a back entrance. Yes? Is this it? Yeah, that's it. Alright, let's look over here see if there's an item first. We're gonna have Furiosa run behind us because it looks kind of hilarious. She walks all bow-legged and her glove arms fling around. She's always got an... Hey, look, a rare candy. Cool. Got that angry face all the time. It's amazing. Also, should, we should switch our Pokemon grouping here. Let's put Furiosa up. For, actually, you know what? Let's give Wiggles a chance. Wiggles and Spyro and Talon have never been in a fight, but we'll put Wiggles up front because we haven't really seen a Sand Slash in action, you know? We've seen uh, Pidgeotto and Charmeleon, but not a Sand Slash. Unfortunately, since I got rid of Rhyhorn, though, we have no ride Pokemon, and that is a little saddening. Uh, now, I know Spyro will turn into Charizard, so maybe we'll be able to ride on Charizard. I imagine we will, but we can't fly yet, I don't think, so maybe it won't let us just fly around like normal on the back of Charizard. We need, like, a ground mount. Where does this lead us? I do not remember what this takes us to. Okay, just to the roof. An item over there. Hello? Oh, who are you? My guy? As you can see from all my notes on the board, there's nothing that I don't know. I even know that the whole world can be found from inside your Nintendo Sweat. For what? Inside my Nintendo Switch? So connect with friends and enjoy trading Pokemon with one another. Is this why I came up here for that and item? Oh, play rough. That's actually a good move. I might be able to teach that to Furiosa. Let's check it out. I mean, I know it's a fairy type move, but I'm pretty sure Furiosa can learn it. And there it is. Nope. I was absolutely wrong. Furiosa cannot learn it. I was thinking though, the one thing we could really use on the team, I guess, is a fairy type. Also, kind of out of nowhere, but as I was training and thinking about the Pokemon added team, I was going to add an Alolan Sand Slash, and we would add two Sand Slashes, which is goofy already as it is. But realizing the typings, which is Ice and Steel, we really don't need an Ice Steel type on the team. Steel may help a little bit, but in general, Ice typing, which is all the moves he had, and he's level 30, is that we have all the coverage for that, so we don't really need it. So we're just going with what we got. And we're I'm, I'm going to try to not grind as much, maybe, unless you guys really want me to. I can fight all the trainers, but if I dodge some trainers, it's just because this game hasn't presented itself to be extremely difficult yet. So to make it more entertaining, maybe I'll make it more difficult on myself. This is my trusted pal, Polyrath. It evolved from a Poliwhirl when I used a Water Stone on it. Cool. Uh, hey, the game corner. Is this the prize area? I want to see what the prizes are, so... Oh, this place looks crazy. There's the Team Rocket grunt. So this is the actual... Oh, there's Jesse and James chilling over there. I'll go say hi to them here in a second. 
Where's the prize corner then? Because usually the prize corner is right here, isn't it? Or is it over here? What am I missing? I could have sworn there was a prize corner usually connected. Maybe they're just connected now, and if I go in there, there's a prize desk. I don't know. Let's go check. We'll, we'll double check. It's not really important, but we need to come in here anyway, because I know we got to go check out on Jesse and James over here, see what's happening. See what's hip-hop happening. Of course, there doesn't seem to be any prize thing. There's just some lockers. Can we buy some juice? No? Oh, wait, we can. So, can we buy them by the number? No, we gotta buy them one at a time. Ugh. I'm good. Uh, what do you guys want? Nothing? Let's gambler. Aha! I broke my high score! If only every day we're like this. Your high score on what? You're sitting at a table and... Or whatever. Phew. I take a little break. Or, I'll take a little break. You need to take breaks when playing games. Are you trying to tell me something? Are you trying to tell me something? What do you want? The game in which Pokemon fly in the sky, it's great, isn't it? If we could fly in real life, that'd be much cooler than the game, though. Well, maybe we can. Games are great for improving your reflexes. Well, maybe not these games. I have a feeling you spend money to make money in these games. My sweet star, you. It likes to watch people playing games. Or maybe these are just arcades in this game. Who knows? It's a game in which you lead many Pokemon to a goal. Sometimes see suspicious looking people in the game corner. I wonder what they're up to. Well, they're really suspicious when they have a giant R on their chest. Kind of look like people from Team Rocket. And look a little shady. You should probably say something. So oh, hey. Jesse. There. Come on. I almost got it. So close. Come on, Jesse. Why don't we head to the hideout now? Oh, come on. We've already handed over the Cubone to another Team Rocket member. What's the harm in taking a little break? How are we supposed to open the hidden entrance to the hideout anyway? We just need to check out the poster with the vehicle on it, remember? It's a poster with a vehicle that's the best way to represent us. Is that, is that how that works? I'm glad there's such a blabbermouth. Oh, you have, a better, you have better things to do, champ, in the making? Celon City's gym leader is Erica. She is one of the nature... One with nature and user of grass type Pokemon. She might look quite uh, she might look quiet because she does flower arrangements, but she's not one to be taken lightly. I realize my voices are kind of melding everywhere. I like how Meowth's just sleeping on top of the arcade machine. You look very sad. We've run out of game coins. Also, please don't touch the wall in the game corner without permission. Well, I'm going to, so hey bud. I'm guarding this poster. Go away or else. Whoa, I, I mean, I didn't say I was going to stay here. You didn't have to attack a kid out of nowhere. But, I mean, you're going to regret it, so it's fine. Radicate, eh? Come on, Wiggles. Your debut battle. Ooh, look at those red spikes. So shiny. All right. So I'm going to just brick break you into oblivion, all right? Are you good with that? That's going to hurt a little bit. Ow. Thing might hurt more. Bye, Raticate. That is a little messed up, though. You just took half my health and just dipped out like that. Blast! At this rate, the location of Team Rock Tida has got to be discovered. I better tell the boss. You better. That is not a vehicle. I, I mean, it's a rocket, which I guess is a vehicle, but. Jesse and James might need to rethink their vehicles. I mean, I understand it's a rocket, so, you know, Team Rocket, all that stuff. What am I looking for? I'm looking for heals. Clearly, I haven't played this game long enough to forget where my heal- Where are- Oh, okay, I was about to say, where are my Super Potion? I could have sworn I had those. Alright. Wait, did I just gain 51 health from that? I'm pretty positive I just gained 51 health from that Super Potion. Do they give 60 in this game? I really haven't paid attention. Hey! Switch behind the poster. Let's push it. Wow, that's a lot of noise. You heard a loud sound echo from somewhere on this floor. Don't worry, nobody noticed this giant door that just opened. You guys just gonna... Uh... <laughs> okay, they're gonna tell me now. You know, those things that blast off into space. You mean a rocket, James? A rocket. It's a rocket. Do not, you not know what a rocket is? All right. So we're in the hideout, which looks fancy. I see a guy over there. Is she gonna battle me or is she just... Oh, okay. Shh, 
I'm a beautiful spy on an undercover mission. What's a child like you doing here? I'm here to beat Team Rocket. <laughs> You've got attitude. I like that. Let me give you a present so you remember our little encounter. You got a Team Rocket, s Team Rocket set from the beautiful spy. Oh, I'm definitely being Team Rocket. Just wear that set and you'll feel as if you're a Team Rocket grunt yourself. Although you're too short to be a real grunt, they'd probably figure you out if you were in disguise. Hey, we're putting on some Team Rocket gear. You ready for this? Do I have some for Pikachu too? That'd be awesome. Darn. Oh wait, I do. Yeah, I give Pikachu his black cap. Definitely what he wanted. Oh yeah. Got that Rockachu. I just made that word up. It's terrible, I know. But it's a Rockachu. Straight up black hat? No, see, I can definitely rock down with a black hat. I don't know if I'm gonna rock with the Team Rocket, like... I mean, that's kinda cool, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we can go all black pretty much everywhere else, though. We'll keep the formal piece on. Oh, uh, forgot rotates that button. That's the Team Rocket one? That's, I mean, that's not too crazy. I'll still wear it, because it matches a little better. Um, the shoes? What do they look like? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm, I mean, they kind of match because of the shirt. But... Maybe I'll go with that, because there's a little more black... Or, yeah, a little more black on those. Pants? Yeah, we're just going black black and white. Styling out. Looking great. Pikachu's looking great, too. Maybe I'll take his hat off, though. Ah, eh, we'll stick with the hat for now. Look at us, looking great together. Alright. So we're just going to wander over here. Don't worry, you didn't see anything. You didn't see a giant primate walk in front of you. Nah, don't worry about it. Three mighty candies, which I'm still going to try not to use, because I can get those very easy, and they are super overpowered. All right. Aha, again, you just you just missed me. You dumb dumb. Can you, come, can you look over here? No? No, you're not going to? All right, well, I guess I got to fight you. That's fine. You snuck into Team Rocket's operation? What nerve. Challenged by Team Rocket Grunt. Sad they never get any names. Alright, so that's kind of bad. Can't really hit you with anything. Maybe I should switch him out of the front, because I mean, he doesn't have any moves for this. What are you going to try to hit me with? I'm curious. I'll just use Protect, because I got it. What does it look like? Uh, I mean, it looks a little different. Haze. What does that do again? Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Pokemon? Uh, what should we bring out? I mean, Pikachu's gonna obliterate him for sure. I don't have an Ice-type move with Tank or else I would definitely use it. Let's just go into Pikachu. Check him out in his new outfit. Alright. I think I'm just gonna say goodbye to you, Golbat. I don't think you're living this. Ouchie. I almost feel sorry, but I don't. Bye, Golbat. Got anything to say to me about that? Huh, Grot? Huh? Boom? That's, that's not really the right answer, I guess, but alright. See you later. It's not really a great answer after getting beat. Just boom. Another item? Alright, I'll take f five free Ultra Balls. Can always use some more balls. And that's a dead item I forgot. Alright, so we go down some more, correct? Yes. You think I'd be a lot more noticeable with a very angry primate following behind me? I see another gold bat I'm switching. I heard that you can see ghosts with the silph scope. Good, because I need that. Very badly. Challenged by Team Rocket Grunt again. Grunt number 578. Hypno, eh? Good old psychic type. Uh, I don't know if I have anything for psychic, do I? Am I just forgetting something? Do I have any dark types or... 
Hmm. You know, that is definitely a thing we don't have. Anything to deal with a psychic type. I don't have any bug moves, dark or ghost moves on anybody, I don't think. That's fine. I'm pretty sure a dig is gonna hurt you a lot, my guy. Yeah, that did quite a bit of damage. Oh, now you switched to side beam. If you'd have stuck with headbutt, I wouldn't have taken that much damage. Well, that really didn't do a whole lot either. You need to train your Pokemon better. Hmm, will I finish him with a brick break? That's kind of a lot of damage still. Now let's dig again. Oh, hypnosis. I'm glad that that didn't hit us magically underground. Team Rocket Grunt. I surrender! Yeah, I'm curious if the gym leader is going to spike in level like last time with Surge. Uh, I could go down, or I could go through this wonderful little maze. Get an item. Hmm. First I'm going to go here. We'll come back to that. Do love getting items. Do love getting items. Good old nugget. I could definitely use some money after that shiny farm that I did. Oh boy, Charmeleon really killed the bank on that one. The other two weren't too bad. I kind of made money off of them, to be honest. Awakening. Alright, where do I want to go? This way? Yep, this way. I think you're getting a little stuck there, Furiosa. I don't know if you can f team rest. I don't think there's anybody on my team I want to learn rest. Where do I want to go? Hmm. See, I could go this way, I guess. Where do I go after that? Do I go up and over? Do I go down? Hmm. It really doesn't matter where I go here, does it? I could go up again, but I don't need to do that. Go down here. I go... This should get me to an area with an item, I think. And I am correct. Again, with these big hideouts, the episodes may get a little longer. They may get to like 35, 38 minutes long. I don't necessarily like making them that long because I know people just don't have the attention span for that. I, I understand, but... I just may have to go down that way. So, either hopefully you like long episodes, or if you don't like them, you just, you know, you take a break. You come back, watch the rest of it. And I hit the wrong button like an idiot. Alright, that's, well, I mean, it'll it'll turn out the same in the end. You're standing, how are, Curious was cheating there, standing on a pad. Didn't even move her. She's too heavy for the pad. Don't let her hear, hear you, hear you, uh, whatever. Don't let her hear you, hear me say that. I can't speak. Words are just too challenging for me. I think that was all the items over here. I could have sworn there was more than that last time. That's fine. It's fine. Okay, so we got an we got this here. And we got an elevator. It doesn't appear to work without a key. Okay, so there's also the other st stairs up there. I don't remember where those go. I might have to come back. Where does this lead me? So there's a rocket girl there that's going to fight me. Five free great balls. I'm down. All right, distractor. Yeah. Thought you were going to catch me. You're wrong. Hyper potion. That's kind of useful, I guess. Oh, yeah. Isn't... I think uh, Furiosa took a little damage. Or not Furiosa. Wiggles did. We'll throw him a potion, I guess. It'd be funny if this healed me 22. Nope. Just the super potion that I guess was 60 or something. So, regular grunt there. I don't need a fight. I can tell they're gonna fight me because they're not like looking at anything other than just waiting for somebody to pass. Like I said, I'm gonna pass a couple of them. They could give me money, which ah, I kinda need. Ah, I'll come back and fight them after the episode's done. Well, at that point, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna go down here. I'll need the money anyway. Fine being broke. 
Uh, another Pokeball. Good old Revive. I assume I won't need those too often. Only used a couple so far for my own stupidity. Ow. Oh. Alright, let's battle then. Bring it on. It's your funeral. Oh, we got word from upstairs that you were coming. I don't know why I gave her a man's voice, deep voice. Can't really give him a female voice because I'm bad at those. Another grunt. Challenged by Team Rocket Grunt 1787. Here we go again fighting a gold bat. Alright, I said next time I see another gold bat, I'm swapping mons up front. So... We're just gonna hit him with a brick break, see what happens. It's not gonna do a whole lot, but... Ow. I didn't do a whole lot either. Yeah, I did even less. Alright. Just curious if I maybe did crazy damage for no reason. Uh, you know what? Just because... Bring Furiosa in here and we got Thunderbolt. Not that Furiosa can do a whole lot of damage with a special move. But, you know, why not? Get in here, Furiosa. It's your time to shine. This thing's throwing swifts at you. I'm gonna throw a thunderbolt at it. See how that goes. I just can imagine Furiosa standing with, like, a thunderbolt in her glove and just, just tossing it right at its face. Just holding back like it's gonna throw a football and just tossing that lightning bolt right through that gold bat's head. Alright, well... Unfortunately, it confused us, so Furiosa, I know your stats are bad, but you're smart, right? No, all right. Well, she's dumb, too. I... There's not much I can do for you, Furiosa, so you're just kind of going to have to do this on your own. I just... Can, can you hit it this time? If you hit yourself this time, you may get knocked out. There you go. Toss that Thunderbolt. See, look, you can do things, and you leveled up. It's a magical moment. Can you learn a better move? Brick Breaks, I guess, pretty good, but... Is there anything better you can really even learn? I'm trying to think off the top of my head, other than ones that can't hit correctly. What? I lost? No! You sure did lose... Dark Pulse! Now, see, that's a good move, and I was just talking about not having any coverage, so can anybody learn Dark Pulse? I was just talking about how we didn't have moves to cover stuff like that, and we... Don't have a single person that can learn it. All right. Great. Great. I mean, later on we could catch a haunter, but... The uh, problem with that is I can't evolve it. That does remind me I need to change my mons. What are my moves here? Summary. Wing attack. Sun. The sucky thing is I don't have a special... Flying type move on Talon, and that is what he's best at, or she's best at. Um, I mean, facade's special, I guess, but... Should we level up Spyro? From old... In old games, Charmeleon learned a new fire type move at 32. I know that, which I really need with him, so let's, let's just put him out front. It's not going to be super effective, really, against much, but... Let's give him a chance anyway. We haven't seen him in battle. Go on down this way. Go back, grab our item. Great. XP, my favorite. My favorite. Another item. We gotta go back to the beginning, I think. Yay, a rare candy. We have two of those now again? So we gotta go around again. Not incredibly slow in this game, but it's still, you know, kind of slow to go through those. Uh, is this the one we want? Uh, I think so. Alright, doing good. Also, is Furiosa hurting? I'm pretty sure she is. Eh, a little bit. We'll go yeah, it does heal 60. Alright, I think that was in the old game too. Maybe I just like the game before this. I just don't remember. Alright, so we'll take this guy on because he's in our way clearly. Stop meddling in Team Rocket's affairs! Well, I don't want to, buddy. I just don't want to. I want to meddle until 
I destroy your entire place. How's that sound? Well, I'm sorry, Rattata. You're gonna get bricked. Brick break to be to be precise. Ow. Again, brick break's just a really good move to just teach all your mons, basically. Hey, Wiggles leveled up. And zero leveled up. Cool. A Voltorb, eh? The good thing is I have a move for that. Hi, Voltorb. How about I just uh, hit this nice little dig button and see what happens to you? Gonna hit light screen? It's generally what you hit. That or explosion. No, you went for screech. That's a strange one. Goodbye. It was good talking to you, though. Another problem about our good old uh, Charmeleon here is he has really bad regular defense and health. I mean, he doesn't have, like, the worst. They're okay. But they're not great. <laughs> Alright. Grab these items here. Also, did I see Meow through the wall over there? I feel like I did. I'm gonna look after I grab these sweet items. Alright. Did I see Meowth? I did indeed. In fact, I see Meowth and something crazy happening over there. Is that the boss? Is that Giovanni? And where am I going right now? Obviously, dude, right here. Talk to him real quick. Aha! What's that? You say the elevator doesn't work? Of course not. I've been keeping the lift key safe this whole time. Oh, thanks. Thanks for telling me. I'm gonna just beat you up now and take it, alright? Grunt, 3,845. That's out, Grimer. I'm sorry to say, your Grimer is at a disadvantage here, sir. Didn't want to let you know. This isn't stab, but it's still going to hurt more than Ember, so, uh... You're not going to like what's about to happen to your Grimer. Just to let you know. Just to let you... I would not like to get hit by Sludge, though, so hopefully this one-shots. It didn't. Alright, well... Oh, use Disable. That's... I'm, oh, I'm okay with that. That looks kind of cool for Disable. Oh no, he disabled Dig! What'll I ever do? Except I have Ember. Man, Grimer didn't give crap for XP. Ah, now how am I supposed to keep you from go taking the lift key? Guess I'll have to use my own kind of struggle. Did you just steal the ball and run away from me? Did you just steal the ball and run away from me? I hope my boss don't hear about this. Did you just... What? Did you just throw it in the rafters? Ha ha! Phew, without that key, there's no way you'll make it to the boss. If you think you can get it back from up there, then I'd sure like to see you try. I mean... Don't worry. I'm gonna completely embarrass you and make you look completely stupid, because you are. But, I think we're gonna do that next episode. So guys, thank you all for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys probably for the next episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. See you guys later.